The symbolic torching of the image of Foreign Minister Wilfred Ellington by non-aligned grassroots organization COLA in July 2012 in many ways commenced an informal campaign to have him removed from his post as Belize's chief government representative abroad. While that crusade has since proven futile, recent events, particularly those regarding the contentious territorial dispute with Guatemala, have renewed activism demanding Ellington's dismissal from office. We are dissatisfied with you and all the organizations that support COLA and every rational person, as you would have it described, saying to you, resign, resign, or resign, no. That call, resolute in conviction, succeeds what many believe is yet another misstep in the handling of the recent expedition by the Belize Territorial Volunteers to Sarstoon Island. Bear in mind, the Barra administration did not approve of, nor did it provide cover for the perilous mission. Where is the spine by our government and the testicular fortitude to defend these people of Belize? Where is your courage? Apart from the vague sentiments expressed by the foreign minister every time he goes on television, this government had been sleeping on the job concerning events in the Sarstoon and along the border. When was the last time either the Prime Minister Barrow or Foreign Minister Ellington or anyone in authority visited, visited these areas for themselves? The BTV has asked them to do so repeatedly yet they have refused. Mr. Prime Minister, you didn't have to rely on second or third hand information from biased agents like the OAS. You could have been there yourself like a true leader, but you back yourself into a corner by shouting loud and long that GOB would have nothing to do with the BTV's expedition. To make matters worse, the beleaguered foreign minister opted to wait on a report from the OAS to determine whether or not the Guatemalan Navy had indeed entered into Belizean waters illegally during a planned trip to Sarstoon Island. Kola's ire is directed squarely at Prime Minister Barrow. We are angry with you and your government for keeping Wilfred Ellington, in our view, a useless charlatan as foreign minister. In our view, your government has failed to effectively defend the territory of Belize fail to continue internationalizing Belize's position on the unfounded Guatemalan claim and have been reluctant in taking steps to dismantle, persuade against, and persuade against the arguments of the Guatemalans. Like the recent misspeak, in quotes, by their foreign minister over, in, over military bases, which in fact had nothing to do with law enforcement and was a red herring to distract the press and others seeking aid and comfort. Kola's platform, unveiled this morning during an hour-long press conference, seeks to achieve three ends. Remove Sadi Ellington as foreign minister, build a forward operating base on Sarstoon Island, and revisit all existing agreements with Guatemala. This, says Rufus X, can only be accomplished by bringing pressure to bear on government. If we get out there and confront the government in masses and say, we want our BDF facilities on the border next to Guatemalan soldiers, they would bound to build a base. There's nothing impossible. If they want a base bill, why don't they contract me to build it? Really, Mr. Prime Minister, the reasons you give why a forward operating base is not practical on the Sarstoon, because it is swampy, mosquitoes will eat our military, and give them dengue? I mean, if it was not so serious, it would be comical. It would be a joke if it was not that serious. Military outposts are not the Hilton, they're not the Ramada, they're not the Radisson. They are military outposts. And our soldiers are trained and they are paid to defend this country. And I will say that our soldiers, they want to defend this country. It's the government that is stopping them from defending this country. The anti-Guatemalan sentiment, not surprisingly, remains at an all-time high. That emotion is heightened by an incident that reportedly occurred across the western border on Sunday in neighboring Melchor de Mencos, where Belizeans flock in numbers to do business. As far as I know, Melchor needs Belize more than we need Melchor. go over to Chetumal and if it's a single day that to go over to Melchor to a foreign country that does not recognize us.
Reporting for News 5, 